hello in this video let us see how to check if a given string is palindrome or not so let me tell you what palindrome is so if you have a string say a b c d e f so if we write the reverse of this string that will be f e b c b a so this string is not same as this so this is not palindrome if you have another string say so this when we read in this order or we write in, in reverse order from here it will be same a b c d c b and a so when this is read from this direction and from the reverse direction it still is the same so this is called a palindrome let us see the logic and let us see how we can program so if we have a string abc so every string has index positions for each of its character so this is index number 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so we have to check that the one at the first location and the last location are same then we have to move forward and the character present at this location should be same as which is present in this location then this should be same as this so what we'll do is we'll keep one variable i one variable j so i will be starting from 0 and j will be starting from the length of the string length of the string minus 1 you can see that length of the string is 7 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 but the index will end at 6 so length minus 1 should be j so now we have to check that the character presented at the 8th location and j th location are same if they are same we will increase i so i will move here and we will decrease j so that j will move here again we will check if the character present at i th location is same as j th location if it is same we will increase i once more and we will decrease j once more again we will check and this will keep on going until i is less than j until i is less than j so in this case i will stop here and j will stop here let me write it again so this is the center character we need not check this we can stop i over here and j over here when these two are same and there is only one character in between so it will be same only so in case of even number of characters in this case i will start from here j will start from here i will move here j here so here also i is less than j 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we can see that i is less than j 3 is less than 4 so we have to stop at that place so let us see how we can code this so we will first need a string say x and it will have some string now we need i and i should start from 0 and we need j which should start from the length of the string minus 1 as i have explained so it will be x dot length minus 1 so we have placed i over here and j over here now we have to run a while loop which will check 
uh, i should be less than j i will keep on incrementing and come and j will be decremented until i is less than j after that we have to stop the loop so now we'll check if x dot character at this char at ith location is not equal to x dot character at jth location if both are not same let me see over here so first i will be here j will be here these both are same so i will move here j will move here these two are same so i will move here and j will move here now these two are not same that means it is not a palindrome so when we see the character at i location and j location is not same so what we'll do we'll print that it is not palindrome then we will exit the program this is the case when the characters are not same we will say it is not palindrome and we will exit the program what if all are same these two are same then these two are same these two are same and this is same so in that case it is a palindrome so we will finish this part I should go to the next character as I have explained it should move to the next character and J should come back so I plus plus and J minus minus once we come out of the loop and if the program did not end as not palindrome it means we have reached the center of the string and every place the character was same that is the first character was same as this this was same as this this was same as this and hence we have come out of the loop so now we will print that it is palindrome let me run this program on a pc and show you so here I have this program on my PC so you can see the string I which I have here is let's say a b c b c b a so this is a palindrome because every character or you can say that when this string is read from backwards it's is spelled same as this so let me run this program so it says palindrome so let us change the string a little bit say r so in this case this condition will be satisfied that is the character at ith location will not be equal to jth location since here we have a same as a b same as b then you have c which is not same as r so here you can see that it does not match the condition for the palindrome so this condition is satisfied the character at ith location is not same as jth location so we will print that it is not palindrome and then we will exit the program so let us run this so here it says it is not palindrome thank you and if you like my videos consider subscribing to my channel and like this video thank you